What's up, gang? Welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Today, we got an update for y'all. There's been a lot of information revealed, some new, some old, some fake. So, with that being said, let's go over what we got here, starting off with costumes. Now, these were already sort of confirmed, but now we really got like um, an official look at what changing costumes will look like. And honestly, man, I think this is great. It's probably the best thing that ever happened to a Dragon Ball game. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot takes some notes. Bro, I, bro, you telling me I can put Super Saiyan God Goku in the Whis Gi? Bro, I've been wanting to see that for years, man. And it's not only that either. You can put accessories on the characters, bro. What? Hey, don't let me give Super Saiyan 3 Goku a tail, bro. Don't let that happen. Hey, I'm telling y'all right now, do not let that happen. But with that being said, what do y'all really want to see come out of the costumes? Would y'all like to see something cool and unique like maybe some crossover costumes? Who knows? But let me know in the comments below what y'all would want to see come out of this. If y'all would like them, um, <clears throat> if y'all would like to see them take this in like a crazy directions and shit like that. Next up, we got standard and classic controls. I was trying to do a bit of the research on this and see if one gave you an advantage over the other. It does not. All it really does is change up the button placement. Obviously, classic is trying to take you back in time and give you that same feel that you had back in the day with Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And standard, I think, is just going for a more modernized controller uh layout you know what i'm saying like this probably the layout is what you would see more in modern games and that's gonna be the button lane for that uh, it's really just up to preference like i said you don't get no advantage one over the other it is what it is man there's also fights will be somewhat unbalanced this is not new information but i have not covered it yet so i figured i'll go ahead and throw it into this video so basically what that means is yamsha is not going to give the same damage output as super saiyan goku well i guess it depends on which goku you use but you see what i'm saying you get the general idea of what i'm trying to say nappa's not going to do the same amount of damage as Beerus. it's going to be a little bit unbalanced honestly i think that makes perfect sense bro i think they did i think they did a great great thing with that i think that is beautiful it's really going to help you capture the feel of the series and feel like you're playing as the character you're actually playing as so i think that's wonderful man i think uh i just think that's perfect honestly i think that's a beautiful thing to do and then we got this leaked physical case it's not nothing crazy it's just you know someone got a copy of it early up there in japan or some shit like that it looks beautiful it looks gorgeous i'm gonna probably put it up in my bedroom hanging up on my wall or something cool like that i don't know but we gotta do something with it right this is a this is a once in a lifetime opportunity right here i gotta do something with that motherfucker and then we got these leaked gt goku images there's also super saiyan 4 one but i don't got the screenshot of that one these are fake as fuck bro don't fall for this none of this bullshit we've been over this before with jump stars ultimate x we've been over this bullshit don't fall for these images i will say to whoever made these they do look a lot better than what we usually get out of these fake images so i see y'all stepping up y'all game and shit like that that's pretty cool bro but nonetheless these are fake don't fall for this and lock in and know that this shit is not real that does not mean gt goku might not be in the game because he might be he might be but these as far as these images go these are not real but with that being said though, i wanted to know what y'all thoughts are on all this what you guys think about the costumes could we see a saiyan tail on super saiyan god vegeta could we see that could we see it hey could we see it and if it does happen would it change colors with the transformation bro they have an opportunity here to do something outrageous something no dragon ball z game has ever done before and they're already doing that why not take it a step farther and give us that saiyan tail with the god transformation collar come on bro Come on, bro. I would love to see that. And what do y'all think about the unbalanced characters? I think that is great, bro. I don't really think there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like some people might not like that. Me personally, though, I think that's a wonderful choice, man. If I'm playing as Gogeta, I don't want Yamcha to be doing the same shit as me. I want to whoop that. Ah, you feel what I'm saying? I want to clap them cheeks, pause. No gay shit. No gay shit on that one. You know what I'm saying? I want to. You feel me? Like, I'm just hyped for this game. If y'all can't tell, I'm just hyped. But with that being said, though, make sure that like and subscribe button. You do want to see some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content and just some anime games in general and i am out y'all peace